I get like immense pleasure. <laughs> this is not where I thought this was gonna go. This is not where I thought this was gonna go. What? You can just not say this. People share their deepest secret anonymously. Episodes. Wait, I, I want to see this. I want to see this. The heck? They choose to show their face. Oh my, yo, you know some niggas, some niggas, some dirty secrets. Some secrets are dirty. I think below five. Yeah, below five is the ugly range. So, um, I don't tell a lot of people this, but I am 23. Uh-huh. And I was diagnosed with cancer at age 21. Damn. I'll be. I'll be right. Is it good? Damn, that's sad. Why? That's a crazy way to start this video. That's sad. That made me sad. It's hard to communicate. That made me exactly how I feel about everything. Right. <laughs> it's kind of like um, just heavy sometimes. Facts, facts, for sure. Cancer, knowing like cancer, when to say cancer. if I should say <laughs> how I should say <laughs> that kind of thing um yeah damn my entire life I feel like I've been living for others that's oh I'm my that's, that's real that's real that's that that's so real that's so real successful but I feel like I don't care about the success that I have. Right. Um, I don't really have the urge to live anymore, but Damn. I'm religious, so I don't have the capabilities of killing myself. Um, yo, 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 yo. Bammies, Bammies, what's up with your recommendations? This makes me sad. This makes me like sad, bro. This is, this is, this is like, this is, Keep watching? Okay, I'm gonna keep watching, but damn, bro. And this feel, I, I'm not gonna lie, like, this is, this is like, this is such a, I, I've been, if you know I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm at I'm my worst. I feel like I've been in a similar situation, been in a similar situation, but not cause, not cause I felt like, like, but like, like a lot of, like a lot of this is pretty relatable, which is like kind of makes it sadder, I feel. Sometimes I just wish I would just get hit by a car as I'm walking home one day, just so I don't have to deal with living anymore. Yeah, that, that nigga, that's and that's that's some. Hey, at least at least like she got that off the chest, bro. She didn't have to turn around, none of that. She just walked away, like, like, like. You feel me? That's good to get off the chest. Just, just like, cause, cause I could imagine stay, being in a position like that. You probably the first thing you're thinking of is like, damn, you feel alone, like, like you know. All right, when I was like this deep. four, right. maybe five years old, remember this one time my mom asked me to get her a cup, of, a cup of water. Right. So I go in the bathroom, and I don't know why I decided to do this, but I decided to get the water. What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, why would you put this with the, with the first two? Why would you put this in the same video as the first two? What the fuck? What the fuck? No, 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 no. What the? What? The last girl was just talking about how she, how she did ass felt like, felt like she wanted to end her life, bro. And I was like, I was like in a mood like, damn, this is, this is deep. I'm like, damn, this is, this is deep. Then the next nigga talking about something, he got his mama toilet water. First of all, First of all, first of all, first of all, getting your mom water from the bathroom is already kind of crazy, bro. Like, that's crazy, too. That's just, in general, like, like the, from the bathroom sink would be crazy. I thought that's what he was about to say. I thought he was about to say from the bathroom sink or, like, yeah, nigga said from the toilet. From the, what the fuck did she do to you? From the toilet instead. Cause I wanted to know if my mom would drink it or not. What? So, gave my mom the water. Sat there. And I watched her down the whole cup. <laughs> oh my 
my god no i'm not gonna lie if i ever did this this would be my this would be my deepest my deepest secret too no i would never i would never the batman could not get this information out of me bro there's no way this is this is that this is so fucked up i would take this to the grave nobody would ever notice nobody no 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 and and i would never i would not forgive my son for doing this i don't give a fuck if he was two i never regretted it what and my mom never knew about this. What? I'm not going to tell her. Ever. That's what? It. Didn't regret it is crazy. Didn't regret it is crazy. He's a villain? No, you like that's like this nigga this nigga this, this he's definitely done worse than this, bro. If he said he's done this without regretting, he he's done worse. He's done worse. This nigga needs to be in jail. Man needs to be in jail. What? Hi, my name is and my secret for today is um, every time I wear a thong, I get a rash. Okay. Rash between my butt cheeks. I get like immense pleasure. Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> this is not where I thought this was gonna go. This is not where I thought this was gonna go. Yo, 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 I thought this was about a, like, what? Did she just say she gets horny off of, off of? Her scratching it just because it's a rash and like the pain relieves or something. And I make a face uh, and my boyfriend asked me, are you itching your butt every time? And I say no. And I refuse to admit to him that I scratch my butt and it gives me pleasure. That reveal is crazy. And she showed her face. And she showed her face. She showed her face. Like this was some, like this was some, not some, this was not some absolutely insane shit. Like this was not absolutely insane. Bitch, you just told me that you get turned on from scratching your rashes. I had to look, I had to look to my right to see if my roommate was in my, my room and heard that. Cause I didn't even want to repeat that sentence. Bitch just said she gets horny off of scratching. Her. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. My secret is that I write about weed for a living, but okay. my Middle Eastern father thinks I write about herbal tea. It's not that bad. It's One time bad. when I was little, I just pee in my She's pants. A to what the fuck? One time when I was little, I just pee in my pants to enjoy the experience because I was wondering what is the experience to pee in your pants, you know? And I've never heard of a human being purposefully peeing their pants. I never did that. So <laughs> purposefully peeing in your pants is crazy. I start to pee in a school. The experience, <laughs> it was weird, but at the same time, it was fun, you know. This is the embarrassed part because <laughs> I was very curious about it. What? 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 Okay, you could. T I guess you could turn around to this because that's a, like that's not that bad of like that's not like absolutely insane. I like. Like I get turning around to this because this is like some 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 like little kid shit, but it's like, <laughs> yo yo deepest secret is that you purposefully peed your pants when you were a child. That's crazy to me. What? Wait, let me. I'm trying to. What's my deepest secret? Hmm. I feel like I'm a pretty open book. I feel like I'm a pretty open book. I don't, I don't know. It says, unless it's like OD depressing. Like OD, like that's the only thing I could think of. The, the, TV, the, TV, the TV remote shit's not like, that's some little kid shit to me. Like I laugh at that. I, I'd probably tell that though. That's what I'd probably tell to, to like on some funny shit. Chat, have, have I told y'all on stream? Or do I be saying on other people's streams? I don't remember if I've told y'all. When I was a kid, I just used to like lick, lick t remote, TV remotes like when I was like a little, little kid.
Like when I was like five, like I just lick, I just licked the humerus, bro. Like not like all the time. It was like it was like it was like I did it like a couple times. Like I did it at my crib a couple times, and at one time I was at my aunt crib, and like I was at my aunt crib that I was at like oh like at that time I was over there a lot, but she lived like thirty to forty minutes away, so I'll be I'll be over there like a lot one day, and I'm watching I'm watching Digimon. I'm watching Digimon by myself. My brother, my older cousin, they're all older than me. They're all older than me, so they like not really, they wasn't with me and shit. They was like probably upstairs or something. I'm downstairs watching Digimon, and I just like start licking the remote, bro. Like I lick, I licked up back. I, I like, I'll be feeling me. I just started licking it. And then, and then my brother walk in, and he's like, what? He's like, Nick, he's like, bro, are you licking remotes right now? He's like, he's like, he's like, are you licking, are you licking the TV remote right now? Like, like, be serious. He was like, he was, that's basically what he. That's basically what he said. He was like, he was like, are you dead? Like, are you for real licking a TV remote right now? And I like ever since then, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I was like, what the fuck did I? And I never did it after that day. I I don't know what snapped in my brain. Like I was like five. I was literally a little ass kid. Like and he was like, bro, what the fuck. And I just never did it. Like, never, never after, after that day. I remember that. I remember that day. I just remember that day vividly. I was so young. And I remember that day perfectly. I remember I was watching Digimon. I remember which couch I was sitting on. I remember what color the fucking light was. I remember what the room looked like. I remember ev- I remember where my brother walked in from. Like, I remembered, though. I remember that shit viciously, bro. Like, I remember that shit per- that day perfectly. See how the light that said I got food on it? Nah, I don't know why. Like, and I've just never, I've never done it since. I've never done it since. But that's probably my deepest secret that's like not like crazy sad, OD sad. My, my faceless secret is that my roommate, who's very nice and just moved in, made a lot of soup. Right. For, and she texted our. Where's, where's this about to go? Chat, and she said, I made a lot of extra soup. You guys can have some if you want. And I thought that was a very generous offer. I said, right. thank you. And what I've been doing is getting home late at night and being very hungry. Right. And this is embarrassing for so many reasons, but I've been just, instead of taking the soup out of her Tupperware and putting it in a bowl, like would be responsible and um, like, she's already giving something. Right. And I'm actually, I've just been eating out of the Tupperware of soup. That's, fuck, that's fucking with, disgusting. That's fucking disgusting. That's disgusting. With my mouth and then putting the spoon back in, which feels like, like a rejection in some way like i am spitting literally in the face of her generosity but i don't know why it's become a habit this happened a few times now and 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 yeah in fact this has been weighing on me which is why i knew it so immediately nigga so just don't do it am i like like am i confused Am I tripping? She could just not do that. Is that hard? Like, it's so easy to just grab a bowl or, like, maybe grab, like, like, maybe maybe you really, really want, like, just one spoonful of food. So just, like, get a new sp- She's talking about, like, she just eat out of the bowl. Eating out of the bowl is crazy. Eating out of the bowl. No, 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 that's crazy. That's crazy. That's I'm going to not do it again, I hope. Nigga said, I hope, like, that's in a, like, are you addicted to not eating out of a bowl? I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say that's it. That's it. Uh, I would just say, I hope that I tell you in person if you ever, before you ever see this, but thank you for the soup, and I'm sorry for my spin it. I don't know what's up. A lot of people think I'd be in fights and stuff because I'm like big and I'm like tall and a black woman. Which is pretty but sad. But I do not be sad. in fights. I just talk a lot of shit. Right. And no, I can't back it up. <laughs> that's some real shit. <laughs> that's like, that's like, that's like every bitch on Twitter. <laughs> and she not even turn around for that. She don't even turn around for that. <laughs> that's comedy. That's, that's real. That's real. That's some real shit. That's some real shit. Okay. We're that's, right here. That was that's probably my favorite one from this whole video. That was funny. On this funny picnic blanket, because we're celebrating my birthday, and there was an older man that came and um, hung out with us for a while, and right. that was my sugar daddy.
<laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <coughs> 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 Like, okay, it's the duality of of scene to scene. The last bitch just said, yeah, she can't, she can't, she she talk a lot of shit, but she can't, she can't beat no ass. This bitch is... This picnic blank. This bitch just said she got pulled up on by her sugar daddy. Okay. What's good, Jessica? We're right here on this picnic blanket because we're celebrating my birthday. And there was an older man that came and um, hung out with us for a while. And that was my sugar daddy. I have but that's real. What? 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 Uh, 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 I can't press play. I can't press play. No, I can't press play. I can't. I can't press play. I can't. I can't press play. Uh, I cannot. I cannot. I just cannot press play. I just cannot press play. I just cannot. I have genital herpes, and I'm afraid that no one will ever love me. Damn. That's so sad. That's so uh, sad. I broke up with my girlfriend the other day, and I feel less bad about it than I should. But it's very conflicting because I feel both bad and good. That's some real and shit. I don't know if I've dealt with that kind of uh, duality before. That's life, though. That's life, though. You feel me? Somebody he probably just felt like he had to get that off his chest. That's life. That's how I feel when you when you when you leave in a situation that was ultimately not the best for you. But especially if it's what you know, if you're in a situation that you know. But you know, it's, you also know that it's not the best for you. It's gonna be very weird not being in that situation no more. Cause we're as humans, we're we're really used to like we get comfortable. Humans get humans get very comfortable. Humans like humans like what like like we like we like what we're used to. So once you get used to something and it's gone, even if it was bad for you, you'd be like you're like damn like I kind of miss it. That's that, you feel me? It's just like that's that's just life. For all you niggas that ain't never been in a relationship before. I don't think I have a real personality. Fuck does that Because I changed it so much for people to like me. Why well, this kind of made me mad? I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be angry. Like, but it's like, I don't know, this kind of made me angry. I got my heart broken yesterday. Damn. Damn. No, 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 no context? No context? Alright. The fuck? Ain't, that, ain't too much of a deep, dark secret to me. My secret is... Nigga, what if... What if... She was... She's the last guy's... She's the last guy's girlfriend! Or ex-girlfriend! Broke up with my girlfriend the other day, and I feel less bad about it than I should. What if like, what if like, it was like, yes, CJ, bro, like, what if it's like, what if it's like, they, cause you feel me, it's the same area, so like, what if the guy before, who said he didn't really care that he broke up with his girlfriend like that, what if that's his girl from yesterday, and, and his girl's like, I got my heart broken yesterday. Yo, 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 that's a plot. Yo, that's a plot right there, bro. What the fuck is this video? I think my ex best friend is dead, and it might be my. What? <laughs> you can just not say this. You cannot just say this for a YouTube video. That is. That is what that is what we call in the legal field manslaughter. If somebody dies, and although you might not have killed them, if somebody's death could be traced back to being your fault, you can be in you can be you that is manslaughter. That's what that is. Please, I beg of you, do not turn around and seek help. Because what the fuck? What do you mean? I think this. They're like you can't say this. You can't. This is a statement. You cannot say it with no context. What do you mean? You first of all. What do you mean? You think they're dead. Second of all. Second of all. What do you mean? It might be your fault. What do you mean? It might be your fault. Why would you just think somebody's dead? What the what? 
What? What? What? What? Absolutely no. No, 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 and no. Okay, thank for the love of God, thank thanks thank you didn't turn around. Also, also like would the people like in this video not not get in trouble for like not calling the police on her? Like I wouldn't I wouldn't call the cops on her. If somebody confessed that to me, I wouldn't call the cops. But it's like these niggas are making a video and she just kind of confessed to a crime on tape. So like wouldn't in theory, like the niggas that recorded it get in trouble? No, they wouldn't? Okay, good. Sometimes I good. get really jealous of my friends. On God, I wouldn't post that though. I would not post that. Successes and it makes me feel- Wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. Sometimes I get really jealous of my friends' successes Damn. and it makes me feel inferior and I really want to be supportive, but I can't always be. I mean, there's a lot of like jealousy. Jealousy is a very real thing. Jealousy is really jealousy. Jealousy is real. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a lot of weird. Nah, that's not. Nah, that's not. That's not that weird. That's not. That's not that weird. Cause, cause at least, at least she's saying like she try. She tries to be supportive. It's just, it's like, it's like she just knows in her like she just feels jealous. Like, but that's not. That's not. That's not hating. That's not hating. It's like. It's like. I don't know how to explain it. Everyone gets jealous. It depends on your act on it. Yeah, jealousy, jealousy, jealousy is like I feel like jealousy, especially in certain situations, is normal. But like, there's also like, like, cause, cause I feel like personally, if if ever I don't, I don't say I feel jealous, but more like at times, I feel like I feel like probably probably and like if you say like you envy somebody, it's like on some like you wanna you wanna be able to get to that point. I feel like envy would be the envy would be the like like jealousy is more on some like you jealousy itself and like moving like a jealous person would be like you trying to like sabotage somebody else's up because you want to be up but it's more like I'm a very competitive person and I feel like I feel like I could be the best and I feel like I want whatever I am I want to be the best so seeing somebody seeing some, something that's like 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 especially somebody that I don't know if they're if they're doing good it's not on a like yo fuck this guy doing good it's more like it's more like yo it's like more like yo how did how this nigga how this nigga do this I'm a I'm a figure out how to get there how to get there too you feel me I'm a I'm gonna find out my way to get there or I'm gonna figure out my way to be up there but like I've also like throughout the past couple of years throughout the past couple of years I've been around like a lot of niggas that have blown up that have like done shit fast i've been a lot of niggas that have grown faster than me a lot of niggas that have grown, grown slower than me a lot of niggas that have blown up a lot of niggas that have like i've seen i've seen a lot of niggas that have fallen off i've seen a lot of niggas that have done this done that done i i've seen niggas that have done every aspect of shit i've seen niggas get to the top of the world i've seen niggas do shit what's good chibu i've seen niggas do all types of shit right so at this point it's more on some like it's more on some like I want to carve my own my my path. Like I want, like I like, and that because that's the first thing that I've noticed. Everybody, everybody's path, whether whether their path be to grow into a certain point, whether they're whether they blow up quick and fall off. Like every single fall, every single blow up, every single fall off, every single every single this, every single that is all different. Everybody's coming. Every, like, I say this all the time. Everybody's come up is different. Everybody's that that's everybody's. Like everybody, like I promise, everybody's come up is different every single person's like you might think you might think a lot of niggas like have a sim similar audiences for this and that but no everybody got to where they were completely different ways and that's like that's something that i just realized so like that envy shit don't really get to me either it's more like it's more like if i see a nigga that like like a random new nigga that i just saw on my tiktok for you page once they fucking averaging crazy viewers i'll be like shout out to that nigga shout out to that nigga i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there he working he working, I'm working too. She working, I'm working too. They like you feel me? I stopped tripping on I stopped tripping on that shit. I stopped tripping on that shit cause 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 and I also and I also stopped tripping on that shit because a lot of niggas that like statistically would technically be back, bigger than me, that be that like that I, I could catch I could catch in my in my DMs or in my this and my that, like on some like on some like fuck with me twin. On some like yo bro fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Like I see I catch a lot of shit like that and it's like 
like damn like niggas niggas look at me and that's not to say that's not to like be like a, a ego or this or that but it's like niggas look at me and be like yo this nigga up niggas look niggas look at me and be like yo this nigga up but i don't feel like i'm up so like so like in that same sense like when i see another nigga i'm like yo this nigga up it's more like it's more like it's not like on some like it's not on some like oh like fuck why the fuck is he up the fuck is that nigga up? you know what i'm saying what's good baby you know exactly what you need to do hey but you can always do more you can always do more Always, you can always do more. Always, 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 always. If I if I don't, I don't. If everyone, I want to see everyone win. Now I want I want to see, I want to see everybody that wants to win win. There's a lot of niggas that say they want to win, but there's not a lot of niggas that want to win. And you can tell whether it be whether it be from a nigga grind, whether it be from how a nigga act, whether it be like how a nigga is to other people. Like I want to see everybody that want, everyone can't win though. Yeah. That's very true. Everyone can't win because then, because because then, because then nobody loses. Like you can't have you can't have winners if there's no losers, right? But then again, like I want, like like I don't want I don't want if anybody ever like like I say this all the time too. Like if I ever if a nigga ever like if me if anybody else walks away from this from from this internet shit or from consecration or from this and that, I don't want that reason to be I didn't go hard enough. I said that shit. I like I don't I don't want my reason to be I didn't go hard enough. I don't want my reason to be I could have done more. Like like I wanted to feel like this shit like it's beyond me, you feel me? Like like if it's like if it's on something like I I don't wanna I don't ever wanna be chilling with that regret that like I didn't do enough. I wasn't moving, I wasn't this, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Can't be rich without the poor and can't be, Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't like it's like it's life. It's life. There's balance there's balance to there's balance to everything. You gotta know for sure, for sure. But I just like I said. I don't want I don't want the reason why I give up on anything because that's just like that's what I learned. Like I don't want the reason for me to give up on anything to be because I could have went harder. I had to learn that shit. I had to learn that shit, bro. Cause cause it's it's times where I where the shit I had to walk away from and I felt regret later. I felt regret later. I don't even I don't even want to get into all of that like now, but this like and I was like, damn, like there was more I could have done then. But now now look. Now look was when I was in high school, I had a friend and she asked me if she should get this haircut that I- Ooh, ooh, okay. Everybody so far has had like some crazy plot twists. I wanna see, like there has, okay. I thought it was really ugly and I told her she should do it. And then she got the haircut and it looked bad. That's just L man's. That's my secret. That's just L man's. Is she about to cry? Um, my secret- Appreciate you, Byzantine. What are you majoring at? Um, comp side. Secret is that I miss my best friend, even though she f me over. And life. it was awful to be in the end of our friendship. Like I, I said this before. Um, you get you get used to what's you get used to what's comfortable, bro. Her that's her. And I hope she's doing okay. That's how you know that's how you can tell this person has a good heart. That's how you know this person has a good heart. Cause if you could, if you walk away from a situation that's bad from you. If you walk away from a situation that's bad for you and you feel and you and you feel bad and you like still are gonna wish somebody that did you poorly well, like that's that's how you know that like you feel me? You got like that's that's somebody with a good heart, bro. I think I fell in love with a friend back in my hometown. Right. And I didn't know it and uh, I didn't do anything about it. And uh, now I'm just confused because I'm dating somebody else. That's life. Uh, no, that's real as fuck. And I don't know how to feel about anybody. That's some real shit. No, that's some real shit. That's some real shit. That's why I'm scared to get in a relationship, bro. Hey. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm in love with like 15 different people. Hey. And that's that's the T. It's like I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. This is for legal reasons. This is a joke. For legal reasons, that was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. Damn. Man. I know it's a channel that people share secret here. Right. What I'm gonna share is not that uncommon. Okay, talk to me, talk to me. But I think it's a taboo in a lot of different cultures. I bet. Um, yesterday and today is a festival in my culture, okay. in Chinese culture. It's. Well, I'm scared. I'm scared. This is building to something crazy. I know it is. It I know it is. I know it is. I just. Which. Uh, People usually get together with their family right. and celebrate. But I hate those festivals. I hate people ask me 
Oh, okay. Um, I thought, okay, I thought how I am doing with my right. family. I hate people ask me whether I enjoy the holiday with my family. Is there I hate pretending that I enjoy it. The secret is, a lot of time, uh, I didn't enjoy it. it. It was hard to be with it and pretend that it's a conventional family. Now I'm like super far away from my family. Right. I don't mind spending the holiday alone. Um, in a way, it's better than being with them. Uh, but it is just super hard to admit to friends, co-workers, or, or acquaintances. But I believe a lot of people share similar feelings. Yeah. Like me. That's sad. That's sad. And um, I thought I was about to take a bad time. I don't but think that's, I'm that's just alone. Sad. That's just... But She's not. it's just hard to admit that. That's it. Thank you. I'm I'm glad they got that off their chest though. That's definitely that's that like like I'm just happy that some of these people got some of the stuff like some of the sadder stuff off of their chest like some of the sadder more like actually deep shit off of their chest. But the nigga talking about his fuck he 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 gave his mother toilet water. Like what the hell could she have done to you to deserve that? What the hell? Like what the hell? Toilet, yes, bro. Jit, Jit talking about some, and the nigga said he ain't regret it. I forgot he said that dumb shit, bro. That's a, that's a crazy. That was actually a kind of good video. That was kind of. It was just. It was just like, like it was like, like it was just a lot of a lot of whoop to whoop to whoop to whoop to whoop to whoop to whoop. That's a good ass video though. Yo, chat. I feel, I like. I really like how I've been. I really like how I've been like talking to y'all today like i feel like i feel like I, I feel like i've been giving w content today i feel like i feel like today's been w content